Hello and welcome to Spindle City Sports. I'm Evan Massoud. Thanks for tuning in. With the school year winding down, we're going to begin the show with our Top Plays segment, taking a look back at the best of the best from the 2015 spring sports season. At number five, we'll feature the three long balls from the spring. The first is Chris Padula from Somerset over the original fence at Diamond, a bomb that propelled the Raiders to the win. The other two home runs are courtesy of the Fall River Royals in Fribble action. Opening day starting off well for the defending champs as Jake Ferreira leads things off with a solo shot landing two cars up on Wilbur Street. That's the first one. Three batters later, Jay Sylvia unloads deep and far and gone off the power lines on Globe Street. A two-run blast. Royals continue to hit the ball well. Fourth on the list, Hilltoppers struggled this season, but Lucas Fernandes getting it done, giving up the body to keep play alive. Nicely done there. Coming in at number three, the Bengals turn two. Zach Pacheco to Austin Crown and Shield, back to Brendan Barraby, a 1-6-3 DP to end the threat. Our runner-up did some running, center fielder Mike Hobbs for the Twins, coming in full speed on the blooper into the hook slide for the out. A tough play on a tough field. And at number one, opening day for Connolly and Diamond, Austin Pelletier pops it up. Brandon Afonso ranges into foul ground, goes up the ladder, and makes the catch against the fence. He takes the top spot. I don't know about you, but the top play segment is always one of my favorites. So many great highlights from this spring. Okay, recently right here at McAldridge Field, the 5th Annual Fall River Football Challenge took place. Back in 2010, Chris Borges and his friend, the late Jay Cummings, began the football challenge as a way to guide the youth of the city. And it's been a hit ever since. We started talking about, you know, how do we, how do we change... Um, how do these kids think and because we, we went to we seen a lot of kids getting in trouble kids not making the right choices so we said great so let's use what we know we know football let's get these kids here and we're gonna keep talking to them about you know character development be respectful be responsible um, be ready we, we came up with these three core values respectful responsible and readiness it's and we tell the kids to live by the three R's not everybody's perfect you're gonna make mistakes in life but we need to learn from our mistakes if we keep making the same mistakes, we're not learning anything. Jaron Vieira and Elijah Brooks have been on the varsity squad the past two seasons. Heading into their senior year at Durfee next fall, both teammates tell me they are grateful for the impact high school sports has had on their lives. Sports brought me to a different place in my life, making me want to do things that I didn't want to do before I get out of, like, get away from some of the problems. And it just made, it gets you a chance to meet like new people, make some friends. Hopefully I can bring um, my like drive to play the game and hopefully some of my skills to make some of these kids like want to come to Durfee and bring their skills here. Hopefully I can help them out. It showed me how to work hard and like it, it teaches me like to get through other like problems and stuff throughout my life. Like it's not just on the field, you know, it carries on to like life out of the field and stuff. So helps in everything. I know I came here when I was in eighth grade from Atlantis Charter. Um, everyone from Durfee just comes and joins all the older kids, so we, it's just like role models for the younger kids just to look up to and stuff, and hopefully they come here instead of any other high school. Durfee pride, you know. Now coming up next month on July 18th, there will be a football passing challenge right here at Durfee. So players, if you missed this event, be sure to mark this next one down on your calendars. And our final stop of the week takes us to the New Highland Park where the second annual three-on-three -three basketball tournament was held. Free of charge and open to kids from elementary school right on up to high school, coordinator Jason Springer says that this event has grown drastically in a very short amount of time. I think the big thing is, is to show that there's a need. So there's a need for parks to be fixed so people can use them, so people can plan events, do events, that brings the community together in one way or another. So we have Highland Park, it's a beautiful park. Um, we'd like to get Kennedy Park fixed, you know. That's a bigger place, which means we can do a bigger event, which means we can get more people together. Um, so that's the plan. The plan is to keep doing things like this, keep using the beautiful facilities that we have in Fall River, and try to improve on the ones that need to be improved on. 
Nilan Nera and Brendan White may be high school rookies, but they are already veterans of basketball. Both have a passion for the game and enjoy meeting new players. It's fun. It's good competition too. There's a lot of teams that play. You get to play against new competition too. Kids that you don't really get to play a lot every day. I love playing sports. That's all I do mostly every day. Every time I get home from school, I eat, do homework and play sports with my friends. If you want to get better at basketball, this is how you get better. You play against better competition, you get to all the kids, and uh, it goes on the whole summer, so it's nice to join. Without basketball, I don't think I'd be the person who I am, so it's very nice to have this for the community and stuff and just have all the kids come out. Now, next Saturday, June 27th, Jason Springer will be teaming up with his friend Jeremy Lavoie to host the second annual Fall River Youth Community Fest at Britland Park behind the police station. This is a five-on-five -five basketball tournament for middle school and high school students. Tip-off is scheduled for 10 a.m. That's going to wrap up the week in sports. Reporting from Durfee's Mac Aldridge Field, I'm Evan Massoud. Have a great weekend.